from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Hi, welcome. I'm Betsy Peterson. I'm the director of the American Folklife Center here at the Library of Congress. And on behalf of the center staff and indeed everyone at the library, I want to welcome you all today to the latest concert in our Homegrown Concert Series. The Homegrown Concert Series is an opportunity for, for the American Folklife Center to work with folk arts coordinators, ethnomusicologists, cultural specialists throughout the country to identify um, the best artists, best musicians, uh, dancers, storytellers in traditional cultures throughout the U.S. and to bring them here so they can share their culture and their artistry with all of you. It's also an opportunity for us to um, enrich our archives for future generations and so this concert is recorded today, so just in case you have a cell phone turned on, please turn it off at this point. Um, we would greatly appreciate it. So today we're going to hear Lon Pinon, a, an acoustic conjunto from northern New Mexico whose music celebrates the diversity and integrity of the region's cultural roots, which are numerous, um, and they play numerous instruments as well using violins, accordion, quinta, huapanguera, bajo sexto, guitarón, tololoche, and vocals in a variety of languages as well, including Spanish, English, Nahuatl, and Purapecha. The group has revived and updated the Chicano string band style of northern New Mexico. The musicians of Lone Piñón, which include Noah Martinez, Jordan Wax, and Leticia Gonzalez, learned from elder musicians and who instilled in them a respect for continuity, for tradition, and, and also embodied an example of the radicalism, the creativity, and cross-cultural solidarity that has always informed folk music. In 2014, they formed Lone Pinon to strengthen those oldest strands of New Mexico string music by working with elders, learning from elders, studying field recordings, and connections to parallel traditional music and dance revitalization movements that are going on throughout the United States and Mexico. So you're going to hear today a range of music um, hailing from New Mexico, from South Texas, from the Tohono O'odham fiddle tunes of Arizona, and um, canciones norteñas or, or Northern New Mexico and or Northern Mexico conjunto music. So please, without further ado, please welcome Lone Pinon.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so that's a song called Al Cortar Una Gardenia, which we learned from a fiddler from San Antonio. Her name is Belen Escobedo, and Belen represents the end of a fiddle tradition from San Antonio, which branches off of a fiddle tradition in New Mexico. And in New Mexico, we don't have too many fiddlers left. So we're, we're trying to learn from Belen to see how, how to kind of weave those two things together. And that's a ranchera. Um, so you'll notice I was kind of dancing. I can't keep myself from dancing. Um, it's a fun one. Uh, I heard a lot of those at weddings growing up. And we're gonna play now for you a tune called uh, well, it's a paso doble, is the style, and this is called El Hilalguense. <laughs> That was a, a paso doble that comes from a, a recording of a group called Dueta Amistad that came from Coahuila, Mexico to record in Texas in the, I think in the, in the late 60s. Uh, we're going to do a, a tune now. This is a, a couple of tunes from a, a great fiddler who's really well known in the area of Pecos, New Mexico. He was born in the 1880s and played well into his 90s, Gregorio Ruiz. And uh, this is a polka he called La, La Polka de Ostaquio Ortiz, but it's also normally called Polka de la Suegra, mother-in-law polka, and a, a waltz after that called El Templado, and, and we put new words to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
cuando camina mi novia salen gorriones y golondrinas luego que se hoy mi suegra ni los conejos se atreven a salir ándale que corre que la chisme la cotorra que ese joven no merece ni la punta de su pie si tuviera buen trabajo nada así no te relajo y si fuera no sé cuánto y no sé qué ándale que corre que la chisme la cotorra que ese joven no merece ni la punta de su pie si tuviera buen trabajo nada así no te relajo y si fuera no sé cuánto y no sé qué dry where we live, so humidity changes our strings a lot. It also sounds really nice when your <laughs> instruments are humidified. Yeah, Jordan usually sings that song practice track. <laughs> <laughs> We're saving time by doing everything double speed today. <laughs> Got a lot to fit in this one hour performance. Oh, we thought we'd do now a polka from uh, Cleofes Ortiz, who's a, a violinist from Bernal, New Mexico. A waltz. A waltz. Oh, yeah, not a polka. The other kind of polka. <laughs> the other kind of polka, yeah. It's called, uh, they call it Valse Emiliano, named after his cousin who he learned a lot of music from. Thank you. 
Thank you. We're gonna we're gonna switch our configurations. I want to hear you guys clap, but we only have an hour, so we gotta you know. Uh, we're gonna switch configurations. I just want to talk about the instrument before I put it down. Uh, this is a bajo quinto. Um, these originated in, in in Michoacan, Mexico, and they've been uh, utilized in, in in the southern part of the United States of America for since when? The 1900s, you'd say? Maybe before? Um, I recently saw a photo of a string band in New Mexico uh, using a bajo quinto, and it was from, I think, the 30s. And so that I hadn't seen that before. But uh, I'm going to switch to the quinta guapanguera, which is another uh, rhythmic instrument from a, a Mexican region that incorporates bass notes. Because sometimes they have small conjuntos, they don't have a bass player. Uh, so you have to put it in. So I just want to. We're going to do a couple of tunes from Michoacan now, uh, which is a musical region that influenced all of Mexico and northern Mexico and into, into the, what's now the northern, part of, northern side of the border. Uh, this tune's a gusto called Mi Unico Tesoro from Tierra Caliente. <laughs> Si estoy dormido te sueño, quiero que sepas mi vida, que soy tu querido dueño, comeré la consentida, si estoy dormido te sueño, eres mi único tesoro, eres toda mi alegría, eres mi único tesoro, eres toda mi alegría, eres la joven que adoro, alma del alma mía. Eres la joven que adoro, alma del alma mía. Si da na na no, si da na na no. Under my skin like a virus, all I can think of is you. 
Love can confuse and inspire us to doubt everything we once knew. It's under my skin like a virus. All I can think of is you. Eres mi único tesoro. Eres toda mi alegría. Eres mi único tesoro. Eres toda mi alegría. Eres la joven que adoro. Alma del alma mía. Eres la joven que adoro. Alma del alma mía. Si la na na no. Si la na na no. Chama a sufrir e sim, a rosa é finida, per no temor. Recuerdi muitos cus pecar, a querida minha alma, triste é meu coração. Chama a sufrir e sim, e a rosa é finita, per no temor. Recuerdi muitos cus pecar, a querida minha alma, triste é meu coração. Sufrir já não é possível, Ay Dios eterno, quisiera morir. Porque en este mundo engañoso todo es un sueño, todo es una ilusión. Sufrir ya no es posible, ay Dios eterno, quisiera morir. Este mundo engañoso, todo es un sueño, todo es una ilusión.
José. Infinita querida dueña de mi alma, haz un recuerdo de mí. No seas tan ingrata conmigo, José Finita, ten compasión de mí. José Finita, querida dueña de mi alma, haz un recuerdo de mí. No seas tan ingrata conmigo, José Finita, ten compasión de mí. Ya no es posible, ay Dios eterno, quisiera morir. Porque en este mundo engañoso todo es un sueño, todo es una ilusión. Thank you. So that, um, that last song is from uh, a region in Michoacan uh, around Lake Pátzcuaro. And the people who live around Lake Pátzcuaro speak Purépecha. And so you heard a little bit of Purépecha and Spanish, and like Purépecha and Spanish together. And that type of song is called a Pirequa, which is um, a courtship song. And so it, it's talking about this person's love, Jose Finita, but it's also extolling kind of the nature of our existence as humans in the universe. Um, it says um, something about everything is an illusion, the, the whole world is an illusion. Uh, it's a really beautiful, a beautiful tune. And so you have there two tunes, the one before, the Gusto, also about love, but very fiery, <laughs> and then the Pirequa, which is a much gentler, I think, aspect of that. And that that's something, uh, we learned from Don Pedro Dimas, who's, who's from Ichupio, Michoacan, and now lives in Morelia. And uh, he also taught me these next two tunes, which are sones abajeños, that he composed. Uh, Malechonita and Mirando al Lago. These are songs in the key of G. So they have one sharp in case you're wondering. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> my strap fell off right when we started. It's just like gonna go sprint 100 meters and you realize your shoelaces are tied together. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna leave Michoacan now and we're gonna play a couple of tunes, uh, a couple of Huapangos, which come from the Huasteca region of Mexico, um, which is kind of along the Gulf shore there. Um, the first is called Canastas, and the second is El Deseoso, and uh, Wapangos are fun because they also extol different aspects of, they're like a big subject, and then everybody writes their own stuff about that subject, so. The first one has some poetry we got from a great young band called Tlacuatzin, which you can check them out. Uh, and also from uh, El Quecho Hernandez, who, teach, who I had some lessons from in Mexico City. And then the second one, is from Serafin Ibarra, who's from Michoacan, but can also play the style from the Huasteca, so he does that too. So here's Las Canastas. <laughs> Canastas y canastillas en manos de un tejedor, en manos de un tejedor, canastas y canastillas, el bejuco con palmilla de contexto.
Oh, we're gonna go back to New Mexico now, and we're gonna play. Already? I know. Uh, we're gonna play a tune called the Varsoviana, um, which goes with a dance. And this is a dance that's well loved in New Mexico, especially by people like my grandparents' age. Um, and it actually also has. It's popular all over the place. So uh, there's a another dance. It's the same dance in the Midwest called Put Your Little Foot. And it comes um, actually from Poland, so it means the woman from uh, Warsaw, Varsoviana. Um, so this is my favorite uh, example of how the tradition of New Mexico has grabbed onto and really owned a lot of different types of traditions. Um, so the Varsoviana. <laughs> Thank you. 
this song's on it, so we'll give you guys a talk too this bus. <laughs> Thank you everyone. This has been an, such an honor. And I hope you all enjoyed it. So, uh, <laughs> we, really, we really do our best work in people's backyards, so we appreciate you guys being here as volunteers. <laughs> we have some CDs too. Come see us after. Uh, we'll be by the stage for those songs that we didn't get to play today. <coughs> uh, we'll do an old classic, Ranchera. This is a song where these instruments are played on the bajo canto, the bajo sexto, and the accordion are sister instruments. And so this, this, configura this song has been played in this configuration a million and one times. Mm. So we have recordings of it. So. <laughs> Oh. 
salvación. We just have a little bit of time. We wanted to end with a song by Antonia Polaca, who is from Rociada, New Mexico, and has been a teacher of ours. She's, she's in her mid-90s and still playing, going strong. And this is a tune she wrote about New Mexico and the people who live in it called Estas Lindas Flores. Do you like one verse or two? Yeah. yeah. We'll cut it short for, for now, but there's more to it. Hope you'll look it up. Don't tell her that. She yeah, don't tell her. Yeah. regaña. <laughs> This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.